Hello and welcome to Stunning Memories. Today, we are going to revisit the cast of Too Fast and Too Furious, the 2003 action film that was the second installment in the Fast and Furious franchise. We will see how the actors have changed over the years and what they are up to now. Let's get started. First, we have Paul Walker, who played Brian O'Connor, the former cop turned street racer who teams up with his childhood friend Roman Pierce. Paul Walker was 30 years old when he starred in the movie. Sadly, he passed away in 2013 at the age of 40 in a tragic car accident. He left behind a daughter, Meadow, who is now 24 years old and a model. Next, we have Tyrese Gibson, who played Roman Pierce, Brian's friend and partner in crime. Tyrese Gibson was 25 years old when he joined the cast, and he brought a lot of humor and attitude to the role. He is now 45 years old, he was married to Samantha Lee from 2007 to 2009 and has one daughter. Then, we have Cole Hauser, who played Carter Verone, the ruthless and cunning drug lord who hires Brian and Roman to transport his money. Cole Hauser was 28 years old when he portrayed the villain, and he gave a memorable performance. He is now 48 years old, and he is married to actress Cynthia Daniel and have four children. Next up, we have Ava Mendez who played Monica Fuentes, the undercover agent who infiltrates Veroni's organization and falls in love with Brian. Eva Mendez was 29 years old when she starred in the movie. She is now 49 years old, and she is in a long-term relationship with Ryan Gosling, and they have two daughters. Moving on, we have Ludacris, who played Tedge, the mechanic and street racer who organizes the races and helps Brian and Roman. Ludacris was 26 years old when he made his acting debut in the movie. He is now 46 years old, and he is still part of the Fast and Furious franchise. He is married to Eudoxi Mbugiengwe, and they have two daughters. Next, we have Tom Barry, who played Agent Bilkins, the FBI agent who recruits Brian and Roman for the mission. Tom Barry was 53 years old when he appeared in the movie. He is now 73 years old, and he is still active in the industry, appearing in movies such as The American Dream and The Last Full Measure. Then, we have James Remar, who played Agent Markham, the DEA agent who works with Monica and clashes with Brian and Roman. James Remar was 50 years old when he played the role. He is now 70 years old, and he is still working in the industry, appearing in movies such as The Black Coat's Daughter and The Equalizer 2. Next up, we have Devin Aoki, who played Suki, the pink-haired street racer and friend of Tej. Devin Aoki was 21 years old when she starred in the movie. She is now 41 years old, and she is married to an investment banker, James Bailey. They have three children, Hunter, Alessandra, and Eleanor. Moving on, we have Amori Nolasco, who played Orange Julius, the street racer who competes with Brian and Roman. Amori Nolasco was 23 years old when he joined the cast. He has since appeared in many movies and TV shows, such as Transformers, Two Guns, and Deception. He is now 53 years old and still single. Next, we have Michael Ely, who played Slapjack, the street racer who drives a Toyota Supra. Michael Ely was 30 years old when he appeared in the movie. He is now 50 years old, and he is married to actress and producer Katira Rafikzada. They have two children, Elijah and Harlem, then we have MC Jin, who played Jimmy, the mechanic and hacker who works for Tej. MC Jin was 21 years old when he made his acting debut in the movie. He is now 41 years old, and he is married to a teacher, Carol Lang. They have two sons, Chance and Sage. Next up, we have Eric Edabari, who played Darden, one of Verone's henchmen who fights with Roman. Eric Edabari was 34 years old when he played the role. He has also starred in movies such as The Lincoln Lawyer, Two Guns, and The Infiltrator. He is now 54 years old, and he is single. Moving on, we have Mark Boone Jr., who played Detective Whitworth, the corrupt cop who works for Verone. Mark Boone Jr. was 48 years old when he appeared in the movie, and he was a seasoned actor who had been in many movies and TV shows. He is now 68 years old, and he is single. Next, we have Mogolini, who played Enrique, one of Verone's henchmen who chases Brian and Roman. Mogolini was 38 years old when he joined the cast, and he was a versatile actor. He is now 58 years old, and he is married to a nurse, Jennifer Gallini. They have two children, Sophia and Matteo. 
Finally, we have Roberto Sanchez, who played Roberto, one of Veroni's henchmen. Roberto Sanchez was 39 years old when he starred in the movie, and he was a former boxer who had won several titles and medals. He is now 59 years old, and he is married to actress Lamari Nadal, and they have one daughter. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane and learned something new about the cast of Too Fast and Too Furious. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more stunning memories. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.